Hi everybody, this is Ages, and welcome to our playthrough of Valheim. We are on episode tw 29 now. And in the previous episode, we built this little house. Slightly better than our old one. Still lots of work to do. Uh, I ended the video with me building this one, and I quickly just popped this one out as well. So our two entrances. Like so. We still need to kit out this place and upgrade it, but yeah. And then of course we dug the protection trench. And yep. We still have quite a bit of work to do ahead of us. But now we at least have a decent base. Okay, I need to swap my wood out quickly. And as you can see, I nearly ran out of wood in the process. And now I need to make an entry and exit point. Just for the moment, so I can don't have to keep jumping over this thing. And now I'll be able to bring my carts over here. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place, but... Let's put this wood back. I'm just going to destroy that piece so that nothing can run over other than me. Crafting station here. Oh, I put all that wood away. Now, basically, I've, I've pretty much run out of wood to carry on designing, so I'm going to go get more wood and stuff. I do want to have a bit of a tree line as well, so I don't want to demolish the entire forest where I am. Even though I can regrow it, so... Oh, there is. And if everybody remembers in the previous video, I went and planted some trees here. I doubt that the ones I planted will be ready for harvesting, but... Thistles. Let's 
see this is where I planted them next to this building. Okay, my berry bushes have not respawned here, which I was, I was hoping for. The other reason why I keep coming back to harvest in the same area is because when it comes to replanting, Not a good tower to be in, but... I want to fight him. Every time I stop, these guys come hit me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to turn around to fight him, but... The damn graylings would hit me. I see my bees, I have a better home, a safer home. And it doesn't help that I was using my stamina vault. Okay, we're going to get our body back. Me. Okay, this was not part of the plan, but as the thing goes, make a plan, execute the plan, see the plan make a horribly go wrong, make a new plan. The one nice thing about this naked run is I've got my stamina replenishes so quickly. Okay, we almost had our body. Rude. Oh. Run! Got my, my stuff. Put my gear on. Are you still chasing us? Yeah, I'm gonna lure him back to our base and I'll kill him there. Oh, he was right on me. Still coming. Oh, there he is. Oh, and you brought a friend. So there should be two of them here. Oh, that was close. So 
Look, they won't be able to get over here. Oh. That's also why you didn't build right on the edge. Oh, look at that. He brought a one star friend. Going for those headshots. So this is exactly what I built. As you can see, they're now stuck in there. Well, not him, the other one's stuck in there. And... I'm out of their throwing range. They're still aggroed on me. And they can't come hit me. This is the joys of building the trench. It's a bit of a coward's way of playing, but as this thing goes, think smarter, not harder. <laughs> I messed that up. It's work, work, work this or something like that. I can't think now. Now, work smarter, not harder. There we go. I'm trying to think of it. Yeah, he's what dead in this next shot. Boom. And I should be able to hit this guy. Oh. He's looking at his friend that just ninjaed, yeah? yeah. You want to join your friend? little gradling under there is healing him. <coughs> See, in reality, all he's got to do is just go that little bit to the side there and he'll be able to get out. Because it's not very high on that side. Okay, well, he's now dead. Now get rid of that, that healer, Shaman. Here's the brute. Job well done. <laughs> we survived the night. Uh, throw the resin in there. So I'm a little bit weighted, enough to stuff that I actually needed. Later on, this trench will be full of bodies.
can despawn there, hopefully. Get, let's try to get, get us some more wood. The adventure went horribly wrong, but... At least I got to kill a one-star troll. I made some money in the process, yeah. No, I need to make more arrows. That's the, like, the one last thing out of this game. Even though we've cleared out this area like multiple times, there's still another enemy waiting for you. Another enemy waiting for me. One star grilling. You can tell by his color that he's slightly off. See, the thing is, they're spawning because of this tower here. But it's fine. Hit back. I will eventually make a road for my car to come in and out of here. So I'm just going to keep going to the same place because I'll just keep replanting the the wooden stuff. See, I've got two pine cones out of that. Two pine cones is not going to replace the four that I chopped down, but... Now you guys got to see my trench in action. <laughs> so I don't want all this trash in here. Let's make a little run to that base. Dump the trash and then we'll come back here. I'm trying to get wood.
Hmm. Just grab another stack of arrows. Yeah, I apologize for the cough, everybody. Uh, past few days I've had this tingling cough. Like, I'm not sick, but I just can't stop coughing. It's like there's something sitting at the back of my throat, but like I said, it's been a few days already. So, a little bit worrying. And I am using the, the boss buff. That's why my stamina is not dropping so much as it was. I keep forgetting that I've actually got it. This particular buff is a 30% stamina drain uh, reduction. So you notice I'll be able to run further. And part, part of the, the new NPC that came out the other day. Uh, it also helps with that. And she has this uh, stamina outfit. Oh, I ran the wrong way. Oh, right way, but wrong way. Wrong angle. Uh, she has a stamina outfit that drastically... Give you another thirty percent, I believe it was. Okay, so we don't need those. He wants to die. He wants to die too. Yeah, as soon as you saw you looking at him, <laughs> throw that in there. Get rid of these stumps. See, I do want the core wood. That's why I'm specifically targeting these trees and not just normal wood trees. Grayling army's back. Okay, for the moment, I think there should be enough wood to keep me going. And by keeping me going, I just mean I'll be able to place a few more stuff down. Yeah, our base is coming along nicely, but it's only a shell at the moment, so. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of wood here. So we're going to take some more core wood. Like that. Put the stone away. Don't need the stone at this very moment. So, because I don't want to happen like it did in the other base, 
We are going to do this. We're going to put our crafting benches up here, like so. And then I'm going to, that one's too high, so we're just going to use the standard one. Missing wood. Did you? I know that. No, wait, I need that now. Oh, I'm confusing myself. Okay, that one there. So now I go like this. So, got ourselves a nice little walkway. Oops. Keeping everything pretty much standard. That doesn't look so nice, but it's fine. Now we'll just turn this one so it faces like so. Let's see if I can change this one slightly. Don't like how it's sitting there. So that's odd. Let's do this. Make it snap just a little bit lower. That looks better actually. Okay. Oh, we'll save. Is this one we're actually just going to snap to the stairs? Rather than put that little bit of a lip there? It's not needed, it's just I'm just doing it for my aesthetic. Yeah, I'm gonna smash this piece down as well. It's just to give the base a little bit of an edging. Like that. Looks a little bit better than what it did. But obviously not 100% better, but that one cannot get destroyed. Stone. Let's 
exactly the amount of stone I need because I won't be able to sleep without a fireplace. So we've got to build a fireplace here. Because I don't have the hanging fireplaces as yet. So as you can see, I now get the resting bonus in here. This is where my room will be. New bed, yeah. Uh, I want to go fetch my bench as quickly, so let's put all this wood away. Just so I have to keep running back and forth, and we'll see how much weight I've got. Maybe bring the. Stop bringing stuff over. We're not going to fully tear down this base, we're just going to bring like the important things. Like that. Like that. Change this hammer so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm officially weighted. Uh, okay, that's what's weighting me. Let's see if I destroy the, the piece. See, I'm not too stressed about the wood. The wood we've got plenty of. It's the one wood that I need. Uh, that's too heavy. Okay, uh, let's just go crafting. So we don't need the bronze just yet, actually. And the wood, we've already got that side. Oh, three minutes to cool down. As I said, the wood we've got here already, we've got plenty of wood. It's going to wake me, but I was waiting for my stamina bar to fill up. See, now I can build the forge. Of course, it's not dark time, night time. No, I'm not wait. No, am I still waited? No, I'm not. It sleeps. So I can actually see what I'm doing. So we now have our forge and our smithy bench up here. Luckily I placed it the right way. So I'm going to go under here. As you can see, I can now place this. 
I didn't bring my flint, did I? See those two? That needs a bit of bronze. Well, we got one one out of, one out of the three structures I destroyed. Okay, let's put the wood away. We'll be back. It's just a pity that the the bronze and stuff weighs so much. I thought I had flints on me. Did the flint fall out the base? No, I don't. Okay. Let's just grab a little bit of flint because I need it for some reason. I'm not shocked that I need the flint. It's just I thought I had it with me. Raining. So I bought myself that little bridge there. You think I'm going to use it? Yeah, I don't want to go too close without placing all the stuff in one corner. But see, that's an improvement on the workbench. So he can. Oops. I've run out of stamina. So I have enough for the bucket. The part I understand is this thing's got like a little radius that I can place stuff. So they don't like to be like right next to each other or on the same block. That's why I built this all underneath, like so. But you'll notice now, these benches are still upgraded. See, four star. Uh, three star. But they're no longer in my way. Uh, I just want to see something here. Is this a workbench upgrade? No, it's, it is, yes. Yeah, no, basically, instead of having it all up here in my way, I've put it downstairs. And the reason why I'm running, I've made those doors double, so that I can actually pull the carts in there when I'm ready to. So now we've got the better forges. Well, I don't say better, but they back to where they were. I don't have to run all the way back there. And I need to still build us our kitchen.
but we've got what looks to resemble a bit of a base. And I shall leave the video here. And I shall see everybody in the next one. Have a great day. And happy Viking! <laughs>